without Gonson's support. <laughs> Usually he packed it in for us. Yeah, this is an entertaining event. Proud of uh, Ryan for being in the shortest seat in the house as well. I don't know if you can see him, you probably can't, which is, was that planned? Did you plan to be the shortest guy? You look like you lost 10 pounds and 10 inches. <laughs> There's a lot of good people here. I started the same thing, kind of same story as gone. So, you know, I moved out here over over a couple of years ago, not a month ago. But, uh, you know, I came across the domes and I met all kinds of good people here, lots of good people, and have found my way into the comedy crowd. Sometimes you move out and you just kind of wing it and it works out. But I met a lot of good people. Is Dakota around here? Still, so, I know he jumps around. I think he's been running a marathon since it started. Dakota? Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey Dakota, if you can't see him, you might see him at some point. Come up here in a little bit. He's a big guy. Dakota's like, he's a badass. He can bench press probably as much as anybody in here. But Dakota's not like a full on badass. Dakota's not like a sports car and Harley kind of guy. He's more of a Honda hybrid and scooter kind of badass. Because he has a Honda hybrid and a scooter. He's the biggest guy you'll see on a scooter. He can bench press a hybrid. He's like, I'll kick your ass if you pollute the environment. <laughs> Rich mentioned Watt earlier, Watt Smith, good guy, met Watt here, but he does not wear shoes. He does he fucking he fucking hates shoes. He even made shoes and wouldn't wear the shoes that he made. I mean he fucking hates shoes. I feel like if, if Watt if you like literally if you, you took a sample of Watt's feet, you can tell everywhere that he's been. Like if Watt turned up on episode of CSI Miami, it would be a fucking trip. You know, Horatio would be like, oh. That was like, what happened? That fucked up. <laughs> the sample we took turned up paint from a hippie shoemaker workshop, <laughs> sand from a nudist beach, and the killer, whale sperm. <laughs> he would find whale sperm. I swear to God, he does roam around like nobody. Rob, the co-host of the Padones Tuesday Night Show. Rob's a good guy. Rob and Ryan been carrying this thing on. Rob's great at performing a show and also at walking in fast forward. Does anyone see Rob walking down the street in Hermosa Beach? I mean, if, if he had a special superhero skill, it would be making people think that shit's moving really fucking fast. Like, oh, this is affecting me, but it is. <laughs> Rich, where's Rich? Where's your shirt? <laughs> we appreciate Rich taking time away from his sixth grade science class to come and perform tonight. Not many people can pull off elbow pads. <laughs> he is wearing them. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Ryan. I don't have a ton to say about Ryan. Except that he put his son at the ice cube, wobbling ice cube table. Thank you. But, uh, you know, Ryan, Ryan's a good guy. Everybody's mentioned he's kind of hard to make fun of us because he is a nice guy. But God set it up perfectly because he set us up perfectly. I don't know if he planned it. I'm assuming that he had to. He's a smart guy. But a few days before this, he did that on Facebook. Before he's fucking getting roasted. He put that on Facebook. For everyone to see. So if you that you aren't friends with him on Facebook, that did happen. It took Ryan six years to realize, I mean, he's been in LA for seven years, you know, and he had this, you know, from 34 to 35, he lost the 10 pounds. It took him six years to realize that everybody looks better than him. You know, so he's like, well, I'm, I'm going to take this in gear. But the picture, I didn't show you the first picture, it kind of looks like him now, but, but, you know, this is the new Ryan, this is the new and improved. The old Ryan looks kind of like he had a shellfish allergy. And the same suit. If you saw the picture, you would know what I'm talking about. Same suit, fill it in a little more, you know, kind of Photoshop it, and that's what you get. If he would have reposted that whole thing, he could have reposted it as swelling went down. Instead of 34 to 35. Swelling went down, including his penis. <laughs> so me and Ryan started, he, uh, you know, we've been around the same area for a while and we started a little business venture together. So it's real life stand-up comedy, uh, you know, in Hermosa Beach as well. 
Ryan. But when he asked me, I thought, you know, I've never seen Ryan with a girlfriend since we've known him. I don't, maybe he hasn't, didn't, you know, publicize it. We haven't seen Ryan. So when he asked me to be his partner, <laughs> Drinks, I'm cool with it. <laughs> and somebody else mentioned it, but Ryan does love the fuck out of himself. <laughs> Ryan had 696 friends on Facebook. 695 of them are Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know it was an option, but it is. <laughs> Seriously, though, I don't have a lot of jokes, not like Rob. Rob literally brought a whole notebook and we saw it. He magically turned every page in the thing before he was done, but I've been coming to this place for two years, watching great comedy, meeting great people, having a great time, and it wouldn't have been possible without the help of one person to bring it all together, and everybody raise up your glass, I didn't bring my beer with me, let's do one cheers here for the guy who made all this happen, Mike! If only anyone knew Ryan, you would just have your set. <laughs> the people that even are here as most of them are the fucking But that was a very, very good job. And you didn't need a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> gotcha, love you. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, I, I hate roasts, but, uh, but <laughs> because most of the comics are as stable as this table. Uh, <laughs> 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 You're not trusted!